Colorado is home to 15 places that are designated dark sky certi certified areas, including this one, Curacanti National Re Recreational Area near Blue Mesa Reservoir. And our night skies are becoming more and more of a draw for tourists. Your report on the mountain, Spencer Wilson, dug into the state's interest in preserving these dark sky certified areas. And Spencer, Breckenridge is hoping to be the next one on the list for a perfect dark sky. So how do they do it? That's the big question, Michael. Thankfully, we have an organization within the state that helps walk communities like Breckenridge through the steps to get that certification. One of those big ones, making sure that all of your lights in town are facing downwards to preserve that perfect night sky. They've already recognized that these lampposts in particular are gonna have to change. Think of the most impressive night sky you've seen in your entire life. Chances are it wasn't in a big city full of lights. That's because the more light that you have shining up, the less you can see. That's what Danny Robin is fighting against. Habitually, when you're growing up and your parents say, turn off the light when you leave the room. It's a pretty similar concept when you're outside. Things gotta be level. She's offering folks the chance to see the stars up close with the telescope or with the naked eye if they follow Dark Sky Colorado's plan to help communities like Breckenridge focus their lights the right way. I mean, we want lighting to be pointed towards the ground where there's a beneficial use. But retrofitting all of these lights is costly. So what's in it for Breck, aside from a beautiful view? The sky is free, <laughs> but obviously we want you to stay overnight in our communities. That's um, Andrew Grossman with the Colorado see... Tourism Office. Really? He says dark skies have become a huge draw for tourists and a huge boost for the communities who boast them. Issue is, getting a certificate can be a little tricky. How do you engage in sky quality measurements, which is a part of getting certification? And then there are financial barriers to retrofitting lighting fixtures. So the state put a million bucks towards helping to guide communities who are interested. And while we started with only 15 certified locations, 28 are now working on their applications. And if the monetary draw isn't enough to convince you, there's always, you know, the natural beauty aspect when you get to see the universe. You know, I have this sense of peace and solitude that I think is really hard to come by sometimes in this life. Breckenridge estimates that $3.6 million will go towards adjusting all the lighting downtown. Now here's the second part. Then they have to go into the residential neighborhoods and start asking neighbors to help go by this same rule, which of course, as we know, could get a little messy. Live in Breckenridge, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer covers Colorado's high country like no one else. He lives in Summit County, and you can reach him through our website, cbscolorado.com, or by giving him a call on our tips line. In Douglas County, business owners, community leaders, and elected officials are working to grow the economy and the business community. Yeah, the county has taken a step forward to do just that. The Douglas County Economic Development Corporation announced today that it's going to merge with the Northwest.